Hello, everyone. This is Ryan of Ryan Ada Photography, uh, welcoming you to again to another video product review. Of this time, we are reviewing drum roll the Magnet Mod MagSphere. Ta-da! This one's kind of used, so it's been around the block. Anyway, so. What does this thing do? So it's like a silicone translucent kind of thingy shaped like a bulb or a chef hat. No, not a chef hat. That's another product that we will review later on on another video. But it has magnets here. And then I guess like this hole is where the light goes in. And... In, this is to be used in conjunction with the mag grip. So if you don't know, the mag grip is a little rubber thing that would go around your flash. So let's say your flash is like the normal on-camera flash that goes on top of your camera. You would put the mag grip, mag grip in G-I-R-P, and it would look like this. Ta-da! Right? And... So the magnet would snap on like that. It's like really strong. You can't shake it off no matter. You try, you gotta use some effort anyway. And then it would go like this. So, so what this does, so there's like a product that's been around in a photography industry called the uh, Gary, on light sphere or something, but um, it's kind of um, almost as, all kind of a similar concept, but it's more that more is like plastic, I think, as far as I can remember. And it's just like um, would go on a some kind of holder. But the, the thing that I don't like with that, it's um, it doesn't stay on the camera as, as strong as like the magnet mod sphere because it's the magnets are really strong it's also known in the industry as the mag boob can i say that boob? sorry all right because it's shaped like you know whatever all right <laughs> anyway so this thing, what it does is it helps diffuse the light a little bit softer um, when you're on uh, photographing events or, or like on location stuff. So um, because this is such a small light source here, if you put the mag sphere, I forgot the exact numbers, but it multiplies it. it creates um, it diffuses the light that passes through the translucent and it creates a bigger light source so I look I mean not like you know super super giant softbox but still um, the, you know the the bigger you can make your light source the softer the light could be so that's just like a general um, rule in terms of lighting so but um, also so the way we use it we we can use it for regular portraits um like that way or if you have like pointing that way or if you want to like bounce it i don't know people use it like on different ways but uh, the main objective is or you could just point it straight up when the light disperses it's like a little bit more diffuse so and and we love you using this one because Think about it, it's like really portable. All you're carrying is this, and you can even collapse it in your bag like this, like, and it will just like, what a, go snap back in place. Um, so it's really um, leaves a small footprint in terms of like, you know, putting like things in your bag, like in equipment, especially for wedding photography, we are always on the go. So we're, we can't like, not try to be bogged down by like really, really um, big equipment. And plus this is like, you know, you crample it this much, it's like nothing in your bag. So that's what we love about it, portability. 
and a uh, small footprint. And um, what we, the way that I like to use it for portraits is in conjunction with the mag grid that I uh, had a previous review already. If you haven't seen that, scroll back to my videos. So you'll see it. And it's called titled the mag grid. So if you put like this is a combo, kind of more advanced. So the grid would kind of narrow the beam. And then as soon, when it gets to the sphere, it's a little bit more controlled, like, and then with the, the kind of diffusion um, aspect of it. So it creates for some amazing photos, just what they're made for. All right, well, let's see. I think I've um, covered everything that I wanted to say about the mag sphere. Made by Mag MagMod, shout out to you guys. Always makes amazing products. And for photos um, that I've that we've created um, using the MagSphere, um, check out the images at the close to the end of this video. And if you have any questions, suggestions, um, feel free to reach out. We're on Instagram at Ryan at a photo uh, like and subscribe to this video on YouTube. If you like more product reviews, um, if you have any suggestions for any other um, things I, you want me to cover, I will gladly try to get, um, try to do that. And we also have a Patreon page. If you guys want to um, learn more extensively, I do more in depth um, breakdowns of like editing photography and anything about the photography um, craft or business as you call it. All right. Thank you guys. This is Ryan of Ryan Edit Photography. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Talk to you guys soon. Hope you learned something out of this. And peace out. Ciao. Later.